Hi, this is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today I'm in Hopewell, Virginia. And we're going to take a look at a four bedroom, two bath rancher. This rancher is 100% brick, it was built in the early 50s. And uh, I really like this neighborhood. We've got other brick ranchers primarily in this neighborhood that are well maintained. Uh, every neighborhood has one property that just kind of stands out. Uh, the owners have just gone over and above what was necessary to make it a nice home. And uh, that is the home right there. Just shows absolutely beautifully. Uh, ladies over there now cutting the grass uh, probably doesn't work outside of the home or the yard for that matter. Just extremely well maintained. And that's a good thing because that helps to maintain everyone else's property value. But uh, I'm sure the rest of the neighbors are kind of envious to be honest with you. Okay, this home is very special for a couple reasons. Number one is it's 108,000. Been on the market for almost 90 days. And what's unusual about that is it's got an unusual problem, but problems often translate in real estate into good deals. And I'll share that with you as we go through the house. Okay, as we come in, we have a nice big family room. This home is well proportioned as far as the common space in the bedrooms. The wood floors look great. They just need a nice little buff and they'd be uh, beautiful, beautiful wood floors. That door there goes out to the side. We're now in our formal dining room. It's here conveniently located off the kitchen, which is straight ahead. We've got chair rail and crown molding here in this room. Okay, in the kitchen, some upgrades have been done. Uh, those are probably the original cabinets. I would probably come in and do new hardware. That would definitely give it a much more modern look. They've already put stainless appliances in. They've already done the high definition laminate countertop, which goes a long way into modernizing a kitchen. Here on the left, we have space for your refrigerator with an ice maker right there and some additional cabinetry as well. And what good kitchen would be complete without a pantry? for additional food storage. They have put newer linoleum here in this kitchen and large informal dining space as you can see. Okay, we're gonna pop out back and take a look at this really nice backyard. We have a, well, it's a smaller deck here, partially concrete and partially wood. It's kind of unusual there, but notice we are 100% brick as I mentioned earlier and we do have a relatively new dimensional roof. So that roof should have plenty of life left on it. Here in the back, we've got a fenced backyard, nice, open and clear, no trees back here. And then our steps going down into the basement. Okay, we're gonna go on back through. If you are transferring in to Fort Lee, uh, this area might be a great option for you. Uh, it is convenient to Fort Lee. Uh, it's part of what they call the Tri-Cities here in central Virginia. Uh, very, very affordable as far as housing goes. Okay, we've got a nice deep linen closet there. We're gonna go on down the hall. This hall is fairly wide. Uh, don't usually see them this wide. And bedroom number one. Now, notice we've got a door that came through, that comes through that back wall, and that is our entrance door. That's kind of unusual to be able to walk into the front door and immediately come into a bedroom. So that's an unusual design element there. It would be great if someone used that as a home office uh, and you would still have privacy for the rest of the home. Okay, this is bedroom number two and we've got a full bath here. This is a uh, tile. Uh, there is a coating that's sold that will allow you to change the color of this gray and uh, you don't have to rip the whole bathroom out. And that's sold by Duron. But the gray is definitely neutral, and I could see somebody coming in and being able to work with that, have a nice modern bathroom without a whole lot of money. We're in our master now. We've got a double closet, which is unusual in this price range. One there and one there. And good amount of space in here, uh, including our small three-quarter bath. And back when they built these homes, in many cases, they didn't have a full bath at all for the master, but when they did do them, they're awfully conservative by today's standards. Okay, we've got a nice, nice first level. 
Now, I gotta give you a warning here. Uh, you may or may not be able to see that. That is a disclosure. Anyone that comes into this home has to sign that, basically because it has mold down here. So we're gonna move through pretty quickly. Uh, my insurance is not that great. That's evidence right there of what we're talking about. Pretty extensive mold down here. I've never really seen mold this bad in a home. Nice wide open space on this side. And then if we pop across, this is our unfinished space. We've got the door there going out back. I showed you that earlier. And then the rest of the home. Now, there are companies that specialize in mold remediation and probably what they will do is just come in and completely rip out all of this drywall and just go back with new drywall. They've got coatings that can be put on the wood surfaces. Basically, they can remediate this mold issue. However, it is an issue when you're trying to sell a home. Obviously, a lot of people aren't even gonna come look at this home because they have health issues or they just want something that's relatively easy to move into. So, I say that to say, uh, I do not represent the seller, but I do know the seller is ready to sell this home. And at this point, there aren't a whole lot of takers and somebody could come in at the right price, get all of that work done. There is a loan that will finance purchase hand renovation. Somebody get a great deal on this house, bottom line. Max Williams, 402-7788. I can be reached on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Have a great day.